Thank you for joining me with another video at KL Tech Videos today. In this video, we're going to explore the setup of a project called Paperless NGX, but with the added power of AI. Paperless NGX is a document management software, which is great if, like me, you love to keep copies of letters, receipts, and everything else you can think of document-wise in the unlikely event you'll need them in the future. But we both know you'll need one of those thousands of documents the day you don't have it. So let's back them all up. The AI part of today's video is by utilising the latest paperless add-on on the block, which aptly is called Paperless AI. This plugin uses Olama, the large lounge model, aka AI, to process your documents securely and privately on your own hardware and tag all your documents, including adding summaries to them, which make them incredibly easy to find when you need them. So without further ado, let's get into installing these amazing apps on our system. We are going to need Docker installed and optionally Dockage, which if you're not familiar with, is like Portainer, an overlay which makes using Docker a breeze to deploy apps in. I also highly recommend using an NVIDIA GPU, such as the fairly cheap RTX 3060, which speeds up the use of LLMs hugely. Let's also update our repositories if using Linux and Ubuntu server like me. So we'll open the terminal and we'll run the following commands. sudo apt update. And now we can clear the screen again. We are first going to install Olama and we can run this simple command to install it onto our Ubuntu server. Now you can also run this command in the Windows subsystem for Linux, aka WSL2 and other operating systems shown on the website, which would be olama.com forward slash download. The command we want is this one, which is curl fsl https olama.com install as the installation script. Now that's a Llama installed and it's also detected my NVIDIA GPU, which is great. Now one of the first things that we want to do is test that this is working correctly and we can do that by downloading one of the large language models. So for example, you can run olama run llama 2. If it's not already downloaded, it certainly will be in a few seconds. Now, when you download a model in this way, it actually automatically enables the, the model. And that's why you can see the wording at the bottom there, send a message. And this is how you can interact with the AI. So you can specifically say anything you want to it. Uh, for example, like create a story of the moon. And immediately, extremely fastly, especially if you're using a GPU, it will pump out a story of the moon and anything else you can think of. Now, while that's there in the background, we're going to move on to the compose file. And this is the compose file that I've created and amended for us today. All you need to do uh, is go to the link in the description below to get this compose file and then just make a few tweaks before you deploy it. In my case, all you've got to do here is edit everything basically on the left of the colon there. So you could, pay, for example, just edit these little two pieces by here to change your username and whatever subdirectory you want in there. But essentially you're gonna to wanna to copy and paste this down and make sure everything marries up into the correct paths. So you're gonna need a data directory, a media, an export and consume, and they're gonna need somewhere to go. The other thing that we're gonna do under the web server here is also uh, choose the port number that you wanna run paperless NGX on. In my case, I've elected to put that as 4567. Something else you'll notice is that there's also a few different options in here to create, for example, your domain name. Now, if you're running this behind a reverse proxy or plan to, then you're definitely going to want to put something here in the paperless URL, because if you don't, you will get a forbidden access message when trying to run this behind your reverse proxy. The other thing to note is that the paperless AI part of the compose file has network mode host. Now, I've done this intentionally because, as you've just seen, we've installed Olama directly onto the Ubuntu server. Some people choose to run Olama in a Docker container, but I've yet been able to find out how to get that to work with my GPU. Now, it's not for lack of trying. I've got several different containers using my GPU. It's just for some reason I can't get Olama there. So I've got the NVIDIA Toolkit installed. 
I've got the runtime for NVIDIA there. I've put the deployment commands in the compose file and yet nothing works. So if you have any ideas, please feel free to let me know in the description below and help me out too. But as I've said, we've installed a Llama directly onto the Ubuntu server and therefore we're going to run the paperless AI in host network mode. So the ports typically don't need to be um, actually even put into here. What will happen though is port 3000 will become the default port to use paperless AI. So you need to make sure that this is free. Once you're happy with your compose file and you've edited your paths, you can select all and go to dockage. At this point in dockage, you could literally just hit the compose button and it would open up something similar to this where you could paste uh, your compose file straight in. Now, I already have a compose file here with all my bits and bobs filled out as well, just for the testing uh, environmental. The other thing you're going to need to do is use an ENV file. Now, if you're using the original compose file on the website, the ENV file is actually named something completely different. What I've done is I've actually changed that back to the standard .env. So make sure you do that, or if you're copying me, you should be fine. Once you've pasted your ENV file in, or if you're not using dockage, make sure the ENV file is located next to the compose file, wherever on your system you've put that. Again, it'll be linked in the description below, and the ENV file looks like this. Now it is asking for a user ID and group ID. I haven't elected to put that in, so I've put the two hashtags there. Further down the page, it's going to ask you for put your own random set of characters in. This is what I've chosen for demonstration purposes, and of course I'll change this later. You can put your time zone in here, and don't forget to remove the hashtags at the options that you are amending. Paperless OCR language I've put as English, and then this is not being used down here because it already has English, German, Italian, Spanish, and French installed, and I'm not going to be using English, so I don't need it. That's why there's a comment here. Once well, you're happy with this, you can select all to copy. And then, of course, you can paste straight into the EMV section of dockage. If you are, um, again, using this, um, not using dockage, just make sure you create um, the .env file next to the compose file when you're doing your docker compose up. When you are happy with everything, you can hit the deploy button. This will download all of the containers onto your system and also spin them all up for you. And you'll see everything spinning around here as the database and everything spins up and starts. Now, at this point in time, when the database is finished spinning up and you've got everything completed there, just give it a few seconds. Make sure nothing else is running through the terminal. We're going to need to create our very first user. And for whatever reason, Paperless NGX doesn't give you a GUI or doesn't allow you to create that user in the web interface. Hopefully that will change in the future. Until then, we've got two ways of doing this. You can either hit the bash button on the web server here if you're using dockage like I am. If you do that, it'll bring you to a terminal interface for the web server. If you're using a terminal instead, and we can get out of a llama by hitting forward slash by, that brings us back to our terminal. You can run the following command, which will be sudo docker exec hyphen it for interactive. The container name, in our case, it's paperless. And then the command on the end, which is going to be python3manage.py create super user. When you do this, it will ask, maybe we don't need a capital S in sudo. That's better. Don't use a capital S like I did. It will then ask for a username. For example, we can put Keith. An email address that it won't actually use for anything. So you can put a complete fake one in here if you want to. And then a password. At which point the user has now been successfully created. We could have done the exact same thing in the bash terminal of dockage as well. But you wouldn't have needed the sudo docker exec part. You could have gotten away with, if I, I don't know why that's not pasting, but all we've got to do is put python 3 manage dot py create super user. If you type that in just like that, that would also have the same effect. But we know everything is up and running and it's perfectly fine. 
and it has created our user. Now, the other thing we can do now is go to port 4567 on the server, which if we do, will bring us to our paperless instance. Alternatively, we can go to the domain name that we specified if you have set this up with a reverse proxy, which is not in today's video. But if you have, um, you can certainly go to that, um, that domain, whatever you've set up and use your password. It then allows us to log in with the super user that we've created. So we now have a basic paperless install. Now we do need to create an authorization token for paperless AI. So we're gonna go bottom left here to settings, back to top right, open Django admin. Next to auth tokens, we're gonna to select add. We're gonna select our user in the list and click save. We can then click on that token and then double click it again and copy that token. What we're going to do at this point is open the is open the web page to the paperless AI, which may pop up like this as invalid, which will be your machine IP. In my case, that's 192.168.1.2 colon 3000. Or um, if you were using this inside the container, it would be whatever ports you've created as well. But if you're following me, this will be at 3000. So we're going to click confirm anyway. What we're going to do now is set up the paperless nginx api which is going to be http and it's going to be there my machine's ip address which is actually 1.2 and that's colon 4567 is put in the token that we've created so the token we created in paperless tokens there that's where we're going to put that scrolling down we're now going to select olama because you can use OpenAI, which is ChatGPT. However, I would recommend against it simply because if you do select OpenAI and you go and put your OpenAI API key in here, it will send all your private sensitive information that it scans to the OpenAI servers, which they themselves recommend not uh, doing as well. They don't want you to put passwords in. They don't want you to put sensitive information in. So that's why we've installed Olama. Now, lucky for us, because we are running paperless AI in um, network mode host, we can use localhost. We're also going to be using the model that we just downloaded just now, which is going to be Llama 2. We're also going to be changing the scan interval from 30 minutes to every one minute. We can always come back and change this later. And we're also going to be putting the add AI process tag to documents. I'm going to say yes, you don't have to if you don't want to, but when our documents do get scanned and refined by a paperless AI, at least it will add a tag telling us it was actioned. We're also going to hit the example button here, which basically tells paperless AI how to prompt the Olama models. And it basically says that, you know, you're a personalized document analyzer. It's basically telling Olama what it's doing what it should be reading, um, and so forth. And then we're going to hit the save configuration option. Once we've done that, it'll say success, count down five seconds, and then start correctly. And that's successfully connected up. Now, if we go back to our paperless um, NGX interface, we're good to go at this point, right? So now we can download the engine, uh, the paperless NGX app from the Play Store and scan documents into it. Or you can upload them here to the web server by dropping them anywhere on the uh, interface. But alternatively, we, we can also um, drag and drop our documents, if we're going to bulk import them, into the consume directory. Now, if we go back to dockage and we scroll down and we look for consume, Yours will obviously be set to whatever path you've set, but mine is set to this. So on my host system, I've got home, Kflix, my apps, paperless, ngx, ai, forward slash consume. Now, if I drop any files and documents into that, paperless, ngx will attempt to start reading them um, and then tagging them effectively. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've already got a Samba Shear set up on my Windows uh, PC to, to allow me access into that folder. Um, and I'll show you this. How you put those files in are down to you. You can set that up any way you want. So I'm going to download into the consume directory an old invoice of mine. And as you can see there, 
the invoice from Amazon has been scanned. Now if I go back to the documents here and I refresh the page, you can see that my Amazon uh, document has been processed correctly. There we go, that's been processed. Yeah. So now that is processing uh, correctly. AI processed. And that's why I had that tag put on there. So it just needed a few seconds to start. It was a bit hasty in uploading those documents. Um, but yeah, so that's basically how you get um, Paperless NGX paired up with Olama, paired up with Paperless AI, and have it automatically scan and tag those files and documents for you. So I hope this has been another great video for you. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.